The whole point about the digitalization of manufacturing is it's supposed to be transformational. Well, the last great big transformation in manufacturing was, of course, lean. And uh, people are questioning whether lean can survive in the agile, nimble, data-driven, constantly changing world of data and industry 4.0. To discuss that uh, and whether that is in fact true, I'm joined by Mike Morris from uh, Maestro Business. Mike, a very warm welcome to you. Good to be here. Did I posit that correctly, that there is actually a discussion over whether lean can survive in the days of 4.0? Yeah, I definitely think so, because for better or worse, lean has gained that reputation of being basically, what is it? The elimination of waste. Now, there's much more to lean than that, of course, but uh, elimination of waste where? How do I do that? And, and, and a lot of it is touchy-feely, uh, or it comes down to, let's say, for example, a Kaizen event where I'm going to take this process, I'm going to optimize that process, uh, I'm going to get it down from one hour, say, to, t to 50 minutes. I've done a great job. But the only problem is it then waits another three or four days before we go on to the next process of another hour. So in principle, what we would do is take, say, for example, a five individual processes, take one hour each, in traditional manufacturing and traditional lean, what they would do is allow for two or three days for each process, that therefore you're at 10 or 15 days. We would take that, instead of doing stop, go, stop, go, we would put it into a flow, and therefore it brings the lead time down from 10 or 15 days to a couple of days. Therefore, there's far less half-finished product laying around on the floor in cash, and it can be converted into cash and go back into the bank instead of back on the floor. Now, that all sounds very good in principle, but how do you do it? So the whole thing is data-driven. That is, we want to know what are the times required for each product, what's the mix and volume, uh, and put that all into an algorithm, which in the end will enable us to be able to do finite capacity planning rather than infinite capacity planning, and it will allow us to uh, uh, link and synchronize our processes together in a flow so that you go from one to the next to the next uh, instead of step by step. So are you saying that the people who have uh, questioned whether they have to surrender part of their lean processes because of industrial digitalization, you're saying that there is a way they can have the best of both worlds? They can have the best of both worlds and also not leave lean any further in the shade. There is a sense amongst manufacturers that said, yeah, well, we, we did lean, but it, it didn't really work out because they were expecting from it things that it can't deliver, which often is a significant, tangible, bottom line benefits. And it looks good, it feels good where they did it, but it doesn't come through to the bottom line. So therefore management is thinking, well, why did we spend all that? Whereas what we can do through Lean 4.0 is digitalize all of that and show what the bottom line benefit will be. And we're pretty accurate in that. But it's something that we've been doing for the last many years. So there's nothing new in that, but the connectivity and all of that uh, is now totally consistent with industry 4.0, and that's why we refer to it as lean 4.0. But would a, a real lean um, aficionado, somebody who's really committed to lean, would they recognize in lean 4.0 the, 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 the nuts and bolts of what they know to be? Yeah, lean? I, I must say it dep will depend on the individual. You know, you'll find that in, in Lean, you get your black belt who is committed to the Kaizen, to the Japanese way of doing things, and this is it. It's my way or the highway, and is the only one way to do it. Otherwise, it's wrong. On the other hand, you will have certain Lean practitioners that will come along and say, oh, wow, I knew this all along, but I could never quite figure it out. Where has it been all my life? And it does depend rather on individuals. What you're suggesting is that Lean as a discipline can sometimes overtake the process it becomes the end in itself. it becomes the end in itself it's a little bit it, it gets to be a bit of religion you know I've got to do it this way otherwise I'm going to get it wrong so it does depend on it now that's not to say there's anything wrong with traditional lean it can still do stuff it's still good to make the place tidy do your 5s do your kaizen in, 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 but you've got to know where to go to get the benefit down to the bottom line not just eliminate waste wherever it happens to be well, Mike, thank you very much indeed. Yeah. That has been really, really Great. enlightening. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, Mike Morris is from Maestro Business. So you can find him at uh, maestro-business.co.uk. Mike, many thanks for You're joining welcome. us on the TM thank Studio. Thank you, Nick. Yeah, take care. All right.